Well, are y'all ready to see some fugly baits? That's what's happening in today's video. So this is our dog that looks like a llama. Look at how, look at how well I got her trained. Sit. Sit. Nope. Why are you making me look bad? Now this black bear looking thing, uh, she, she listens pretty good, but she's finishing up her meal, so I'm not going to bother her. Okay, welcome back everybody to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and a uh, nice chilly day today, which is perfect for a remelt. Um, I don't really know what that has to do with that, but a lot of people have been asking for more re remelt videos. And today, we're doing something that I've really never done on this channel. Um, you know, we've gone out and bought store-bought brands, cut them up and remelted them. Um, but to my knowledge, I've never just taken all of my leftover uh, little plastic pucks, which I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. But uh, we're, we're pretty much taking every single piece of leftover plastic that I have, and we're just going to throw it in a big cooking pot, and we're going to get a nasty, ugly color out of it, but it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to run a ton of molds with it. I've recently got some new single injectors in, so I should have plenty of injector uh, volume to just keep things running. And uh, we're about to remelt all of my leftover remelt. So before we get to today's really ugly baits, I want to show you some really awesome baits. Um, so I've been really putting in some work lately with the, the hand pour worm mold here. This is an old Delmart mold. And um, I just, I really love the fact that it's 10 inches. There's a lot of area to work with, even though it's a really skinny worm. Um, you can just do a lot of fun things. So here's what I am basically considering a yellow perch. Okay, so you can see this worm, you know, you kind of have the, the black striping on the sides, the yellow, the green, a little hint of green on the top. And then I actually filled the center of it with orange. Okay, so the whole center of the underside is orange. And then you can see the gold is encapsulated around it. I think that gives it a really cool thing. And then these were just kind of some divider cup fun. Um, I actually took the Stank X divider cup. You can actually make your own. I have a video on that. And I basically just poured two different pearl colors and, uh, and then filled the center with white pearl. Okay, so uh, at the end of my videos, um, I, I usually don't show, I usually don't make it a point to show this, but there's always a little bit of plastic left. So if I'm running a bunch of cups, you know, uh, let, let, well, here's a good example. Let's say in the color of the day segment at the end of the video, you know, let's say I was gonna make this. Well, there would be a little bit of it left in that cup. And I would add it to this giant stack of pucks. So this is what I currently have as far as leftover plastic pucks. Now I do cycle through these from time to time and, and once they get you know a little thinner than that there's not a whole lot you can do with it so you know you, you always wind up tossing a little bit of it but you know some of these are, are pretty good sized pucks you know that's that's plenty to work with there especially when you're doing hand pouring when you're only placing a small amount of color sort of like those worms that we just looked at you know you're actually using very small amounts of each color and so you wind up with a lot of leftover. But the smart thing to do would actually be to cut these up or put them through some sort of grinder. A lot of people uh, do regrinds. We're just throwing them straight in. The pot is already hot. You know, this stuff is uh, mostly comprised of dead on plastic craw tube blend. You know, I don't even know if all those will fit in here, to be honest. Tube blend and swim bait blend. Um, so, you know, hopefully it doesn't, you know, the, the bottom layer right there on the burner might scorch a little bit, but, uh, I think this actually should remelt pretty well. And again, it's going to look absolutely terrible and I probably won't have time today to use all of this, of course, but we're going to go through a bunch of it. And, uh, I think what I'm going to do is stop there, kind of let some of that melt down a little bit and, uh, and then we'll meet you back. That is just about three or four minutes later. So you can see it's uh, starting to melt down pretty fast. All right, let's take a look and see where we are. Yeah. 
looking pretty juicy nothing wrong with that interesting interesting already looks pretty ugly so we're just gonna keep uh, throwing them throwing them on the stack man it's crazy seeing like all of my you know custom skin layer colors just all blending together here like this is this is what I do a lot of my intricate uh, swim bait pours with is pretty much everything that we're putting in this pot today looks a little better in the swim bait if you ask me than it does here but we're getting some uh, some interesting interesting colors going on but it's just cool to see it's not every day I see something like this just a bunch of random stuff all thrown together you know what a lot of people do is they take their leftovers like this remelt it down add a bunch of black in there and then they basically just have you know a bunch of black remelt to use but we're gonna see what the actual color comes out looking like okay so while the plastic is still cooking I went ahead and just lined up some molds uh, that we're gonna start with we'll probably throw some finesse worms and maybe a few other things in here uh, as well but I've got the AI punch bugs I've got my one ecto crawl I've got three jerk baits my custom Florida frog and then my bass tackle ribbon tails in nine inch and seven inch so I figured that right there would give us a lot of stuff to punch out and uh, and then once we maybe do a couple rounds with those uh, we might kind of swap a few molds in and out it is cold enough that we need to do some preheating and you know when a lot of people start this hobby you know depending on where you live and how cold it is in your shop you know temperature has a lot to do with your success you might start getting dents in your baits um, and that's when your mold is just freezing cold and the plastic's cooling too rapidly you know when plastic uh, cools down fast it shrinks faster and you're going to be more prone to denting so preheating your molds is a big thing there. Um, I like to preheat my uh, injectors, at least right up here around the, where the plug's gonna be, um, just so that my injector doesn't plug up on me. And uh, today's plenty cold for that. So I've got three injectors here. Uh, these are a uh, quality injector and more. Um, a couple different sizes, a couple different shapes, as you can see. And uh, we're about to uh, put some dang plastic through them. Okay, let's see where we're at with the remelt here you can see it's kind of a nasty snot green i don't know i don't even know what this is but we're we're about there a few chunks there's a chunk so yeah a few few chunks left oh that was a big one yeah so anyway i don't know it's been about half hour or so so few chunks left in there and uh, <laughs> I mean golly this this is like a gallon of plastic okay let's do it See uh, punch bugs right here. It's an ecto crawl right here. All right, next. I actually do not remember what the volume on this injector is. So I don't know how much we're going to get with it. We're going to try this one mold over here. It's the uh, jerkbait mold. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah. Alright, time for this one. These are my uh, frogs down here. These drink a lot of plastic. All 
All right, now we're gonna clean out some injectors and um, finish these worms off. Okay, leftover remelt. We're gonna start with the punch bug and uh, let's see how ugly this color is. Here we go. <clears throat> let's see how we did. You know, I have to say it's not hideous in the pot. I've definitely seen worse colors. I've made worse colors. <laughs> All right, let's see what happened. Oh, come on, get out. There we go. You know, that's not terrible. Look at this. I would have never suspected that all of that remelt would turn out brownish gold. That's not bad at all. I was thinking these were going to look worse than microwaved dog turds. Or maybe some good cat vomit. Or maybe like a maggot filled garbage can. That right there is actually not bad. Here's punch bug number two. Ha! <laughs> I, I am actually very surprised and impressed. I mean, there are reds, oranges, blues, blacks. You know, I, I don't know. I guess I'll have to rewind the tape and look, but was there a lot of gold in that? I don't know. You know, I'll tell you, if it looked pretty good uh, in that one, it, it should look good in the Ecto Crawl. Everything looked good, looks good in an Ecto Crawl. Look at this. Yeah. Let go. Let go. Yeah. I tell you, I have, uh, I have 100% made colors and tried my hardest. That came out way worse than that. Like, I could actually post that as like a molten crawl and, you know, it, it, it would pass. I would have confidence throwing that. All right, cool. This, this is going to make this a lot more fun, knowing that they don't look like complete just bleh. Okay, here are the jerk baits, And you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the top part of Arkansas Shiner. So imagine this with a kind of a pearl uh, belly as a laminate. To me, it's got a lot of the Arkansas Shiner vibe, just with some, you know, assorted flake. You know, I see a little bit of green, some purple, obviously a bunch of black flake. But um, yeah, that's, that's not bad either. So, so far it has looked good in the bug, good in the craw, and pretty darn good in the jerk bait. Next up is the frog. All right, now let's check out the frogs. Okay, not terrible. We'll get out the other ones here too. Oh, come on, get out. There we go. All right, let's take a look at one. Yeah, I don't like it in the frog. To me, it looked better in some other things. Now, we will go get you know, our finesse worm molds, we'll get that new action worm mold, the angling AI action worm mold. Uh, we might run a few swim baits in this, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're really gonna let you see pretty much the whole mold collection today. Um, but I can honestly say, I will probably not do another run of frogs as much as I love my custom frog here. I don't know, comment below, does it work in a frog? Yeah. Those are the sevens up top, the nines down below. I, uh, I have to say, I actually like this in the worm. So we're definitely gonna keep the worm molds out here. And uh, we will definitely do a few more runs of those. Okay, we changed just a few things up for round number two. We have action worm, the four inch grub. And then back on the jerk baits, back on the ecto crawl, back on the punch bug, back on the worms. Now, after this run, I'll probably get out my old school BTS Bob's Tackle Shack 709 crawls, and then we'll run some crawls in those. Uh, but I wanted to get these other two molds in here as well. And then after this, we'll probably swap out for a few different things uh, even after that. 
You guessed it. Here comes the Mondo injector. Let's see if we can handle it today. Ah, oh, man, just the power. Here we go. Oh, God. Goodness, Lord. Oh. This thing is crazy. <laughs> Get We haven't even made it halfway through this injector yet. This thing is so insane. I had to preheat it for like five minutes with the torch. Oh my lord, still going, look at this. Whew. Mondo injector. Okay, this is what is considered a normal injector plug. And that's actually a little bit on the large side. Okay, let's set that down. Now let's open up the Mondo injector. Let's get the plug out of this thing. Jeez. I mean, that thing gives birth to the plug. Oh. Yeah. Everything about this thing is just beastly. Okay, so I already demolded everything except for the uh, action worm and the grub. So everything behind there is uh, what we just did with the Mondo injector. However, I wanted to show you guys uh, demolding these other molds. Since we have not done these yet, this is the 10 cavity action worm. It's the one that we just released. All right. Oh, I like it in the action worm now. Oh, sick. Trying to straighten them out a bit. That is not bad. Heck no. Look at this. Check that out. Sweet. Oh, I like it in the grub too. Those are both winners. Those are absolutely winners. That'd be a good little trailer color even. Look at that. Just a bunch of random remelt is actually working out pretty good. Okay, well, yeah, those are really good, actually. In fact, this grub might be my favorite so far. Hmm, it's definitely in the hunt. Okay, so down here we have the uh, old school Fast Tackle 709 Cross. You can see I have quite a few uh, two cavity versions of it. Um, and then we have a couple of other new molds, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. They're going to be a surprise. So uh, we've all seen those new memes going around, how it started, how it's going, how it started up top, how it's going. 
we have uh, used a ton of plastic. Uh, there's probably only about an inch left or so. Okay, a little over an inch. Now, I have not been doing any remelts. You know, I'm not remelting runners or anything. We're just cycling through the plastic once. Um, but uh, <laughs> even that's a bunch of stuff. I think once we uh, lay everything out on the table at the end of this video, it's gonna be pretty impressive. Okay, and here's Action Worm uh, from that most uh, recent round. So that's the second run of Action Worms. And then here are the grubs from that one as well. Those tails always want to like lay on each other. So, yep, there are the grubs from the second round. Now let's look at what some of these new molds are. Now anyone who's watched my channel for any length of time has, has probably seen these. But uh, here's one I have not had on camera in a while. I've done the open pour version of it uh, lately. But this is the Angling AI Mid Mag. It's a fat finesse worm. Similar to the Mojo open pour worm. Yeah. Okay, so those two molds right there. <laughs> the 13 inch AI ribbon tail worm. Those are both single cavity. This worm is so big, only one can fit in that. Yep. Anything bigger than that is pretty much a circus freak worm. Uh, that right there is beautiful though. I like it. Okay, this will be fun. We can just run through these. Yeah. Now for those of you who are not familiar, this is uh, a mold that's been around a long, long time back when uh, Bass Tackle was even selling this. But this is now the Bob's Tackle Shack 709 Crawl. That's where you can find it. And Mr. Bob was nice enough to put my old company's initial, well, it's still my company, <laughs> put my company's initials in the uh, um, claw there. But we're just gonna run through these, open them up. It's cool. It's it's fun when you have multiple molds, uh, especially low cavity like this. You can just really open them up fast and run through them. I used to make and sell a ton of these. Let me tell you. Good lord, gotten a lot of mileage out of these back in my retail days. Okay. There we go. Yeah, really cool. Really cool bait. Okay, I decided this was gonna be our last run. We'll still have some plastic left over, um, but we've pretty much been through almost everything that I wanna make this in. Um, so this is, these are some molds that I pretty much only have one of. Now this is the Action Worm. I'm doing that one again because I like it. This is like a Bass Tackle little swimming worm. Uh, this is the AI kicker tail worm. This right here is a panfish mold. Um, and then we have several <coughs> uh, five cavity uh, finesse worms. All right, so here are the bass tackle uh, swimming worms there. Yeah, this definitely looks good in that. Here is the seven inch AI kicker tail. Both these worms are similar in the fact that they are a swimming worm with a tail that flutters. This just has two tails that flutter. And then we have this old Jacob's uh, Baits mold, uh, this little um, uh, panfish grub. I got a lot of dents on these, but like I said earlier, I did not preheat the mold. The mold was freezing cold, and some molds are more uh, prone to denting under cold conditions than others. Um, does that affect the bait? Absolutely not, but that's why you're seeing some dents. But I'll tell you what, I like this little thing. I need to use this more often. And last but not least, there are the finesse worms. That's one of my favorites so far, actually, in this color. So, uh, yeah, wow, that was a lot of stuff. Now we're going to get them all out and see what's up. And of course, we did a few bonus baits. So here's what it looks like in the grass grenade. Yep, couldn't leave y'all hanging without one more thing. Well, that looks a lot different than it started, huh? Wow, pretty cool. And we still had probably a half inch of plastic left in the pot 
which uh, is a lot. I mean, by the time you transfer that out back to your Pyrex cups, that's probably six cups. Uh, no, not six cups. That's probably f close to four cups of plastic left. Plus, you know, you can remelt your runners, of course. So, you know, there was enough to, uh, to do some more damage with. But, you know, I kind of cycled through most of it once. And, uh, you know, we have such a variety of things here. I mean, we have panfish baits. We have drop shot worms. Two different craws, right? Um, we have finesse worms. Fat finesse worms. Uh, swim worm. Kind of speed worm type worms. Uh, we have jerk baits. Frogs. Punching baits. Several different worms. 13 inch worms. Se uh, sevens. Nines. Um, creature baits. So, yeah. Really fun. Oh, don't forget the grubs. So we have grubs too. So uh, yeah, that was a fun little experiment. Please let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorites. Best shirt in the game. All right, we are back inside and um, I wanted to film this little outro to see which one of y'all or, or which of y'all actually watched to the end of the video stayed to the end and didn't just skip through okay so i'm actually going to offer all of the baits that i made today as a giveaway uh, we just recently did a mold giveaway giving away the five cavity action worm mold but all the stuff that we made in today's video i said hey i don't have room for all that it's a wide variety of baits uh it, it would make a nice giveaway all right, same rules as always for the giveaway. Blast this video out to your social media. Copy and paste the URL. We want to get a lot of eyeballs on it. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below saying that you shared. Also, let me know which ones were your favorite. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. I don't know if I'll have another video out by Christmas Day. I really hope that I will. I want to do like a Christmas-themed bait, so I'm going to try to do that. But anyways, we're out of here. Thank you guys for watching.